1913 US Open was to be a showcase for the world's two best golfers, Britain's Harry Varden and Ted Ray. We met had to request a few days off from his boss, baseball legend George Wright, to accept the invitation. As the tournament qualifying began, we met lost an experienced caddy, 12-year-old Jack Lowry, to a truant officer, and finally had one choice, a feisty 10-year-old named Eddie Lowry, Jack's brother, who convinced Francis that he could handle the bag that was nearly as big as he was. How about this? I'll carry my bag, and you can just walk next to me. No, Mr. Wimet. Call me Francis. But I can do it, Mr. Wimet. Francis. I know your game. I've seen you play lots of times. I can carry that bag. All right. All right. You can caddy for me. Okay? But you're going to have to call me Francis. Okay, Francis. Over the next two days, Francis and Eddie melded as a team, with Eddie telling Francis to keep his head down and encouraging him. It worked. Wimet was tied for the lead at the end of 54 holes in the final round. Varden and Ray finished well before him, tying at 3.04. At the end of 12 holes, we met needed to play the last six holes in two under to tie. At the 17th, the hole across the street from his home, he hit a wonderful second and knocked it in for the tying birdie. He found himself in a playoff the next morning with the two best players in the world. Just before the start, a member came to Francis insisting he needed a caddy who really knew the game. Francis looked over and saw a tear roll down Eddie's cheek. Francis replied, Eddie will do just fine. It was an act of kindness and a trait Francis showed his entire life. There were 10,000 spectators for the playoff, the most ever to see golf in America. We met took the lead with the only par on the short 10. By the 17th, it was down to Varden and We met, who led by one. Varden gambled off the tee and landed in a bunker. We met birdied 17 and finished with a wonderful 72, a five shot victory. The victory set off a tremendous celebration. The spectators passed the hat for Eddie. We met was carried about, and America had a new hero and a new game. And Francis and Eddie stayed friends for the rest of their lives. Fifty years later, Francis and Eddie revisited the finish. Well, you put your second shot on the green, and of course at that time I knew you'd won the title. No, I never realized that until I had that little putt for the fall. Well, it was a, a great day. Yes, it was. I'll never forget how great you were to me.